Hey friends, Jill here. Welcome back to a Spring Willow Farm. I've been outside checking on everything. It uh, is a chilly old morning here in Arkansas. We have got snowstorm number two. If you guys remember a couple weeks back, uh, we got really bad sleet. I mean, this time they're calling for snow and it is supposed to come down pretty heavy. So it's in the low 20s right now. Um, the kids did go to school today, but they already sent out um, all sorts of, you know, alerts and emails saying that there's a good chance that they'll cancel school. So what I'm trying to do is make sure animals uh, had to break up everybody's water this morning, um, make sure they've got bedding, everyone's fed, uh, I made sure all the heaters were on in the greenhouse. Man, it's a little chilly. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and start this vlog. Um, but I'm hoping to come back later. Uh, fingers crossed the snow starts falling and show you guys what it really looks like when it's snowing and beautiful here. Um, you can tell though, usually when the snow starts to come, you know, there's just like this, the sky looks different. And today, the sky looks different. <laughs> And so I am hopeful, the kids are hopeful there'll be snow. So you guys know, what does mama do when there's snow? I make sourdough. So I got up this morning, I fed my starter Otis uh, 50 grams of water, 50 grams of flour. I do think I'm gonna stick him on a heat mat though because the house is just cooler or even maybe just take a tea pitcher. Um, I'm foreseeing a lot of crock pot meal soups in our future especially if the kids are out of school for the rest of the week. It'd be super easy just to throw a bunch of ingredients in a crock pot. Um, and so I thought having a couple loaves of bread uh, would be nice to go with that. I'm gonna make probably two different focaccia loaves. So we've got a lot of garlic still, so I'll probably make a garlic one. And then I'll probably, I don't know, maybe make some sort of olive and something. Uh, Nathan really likes when I make this olive and Asiago cheese, but me and the kids really don't like it, so I just make that loaf for him. <laughs> and so maybe I'll make that one for him and make the garlic and rosemary one for me and the kids, but I wouldn't start this vlog. Hopefully when I hop back on here, there's snow falling from the sky, so we'll see. All right, guys. Our snowstorm ended up being a sleet storm <laughs> surprise surprise but school is canceled nathan just got home we're gonna head out and head now i just got in i know he did start a fire for us though so I that did. was really nice um i didn't get all the animals fed this morning so we still have to feed it is snowing finally snowing oh y'all earlier i was outside turning the heater on the well house and getting like pelted in the face with just ice <laughs> This is not enjoyable. Um, all the dogs are cozied up. I couldn't find Dahlia earlier. I had a major freak out moment and she snuck in there with the chickens to stay warm. It was so sweet. Uh, but yeah, if you'll help me feed the pigs real quick and we'll show you guys the not really snow covered warm. farm, but we're getting there. I can't believe it's actually snowing. I was so disappointed earlier. I was like, this isn't snow. Arkansas, get it together. All right, potato soup is on the menu for dinner. Why'd you give me that look? I told you I was making potato soup. I forgot about that. Where's your jacket? This is why the man's cold. No. Yes. I don't get cold. You don't even have a jacket on. How cold do you think it is outside? It's well, if it's snowing, it's obviously around 32 degrees. I think it's, uh, I think it's less than that. Let me grab my phone. Earlier it was, in, it was like 27. I'm slightly worried about the glass greenhouse. That heater in there is just not keeping up. So I'm gonna check on it a bit later. It is 25 degrees outside. So I'm gonna check on them later. If it's the temperature steadily dropping in there, I'm just gonna bring the seedlings indoors. It's slick. <laughs> I don't wanna take the chance of losing all of them. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Babe, come here. We haven't had a snowstorm like this in a year. Since last year. I know, it's been a full year. Wouldn't you rather it be snow than ice? Really? <laughs> this just got 
were you so excited? I was in such a bad mood. I was like, stupid ice. Nobody wants ice. Get down. Get down. Get hello, down. muddy dogs. Hello, hello. Hey, Daria. Hey, Daria. We had to leave her over there for a few days by herself, and it didn't take long until she missed her friends and decided she'd stay over here. Hey, Simba. Hey, Simba. Come here, baby. He's like, no, I need food. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, it's snowing. This is amazing. You keep an eye on the rooster. Oh, y'all are laying. You good little hens, you. You good little hens. Come on. Are you done? Oh, there's no egg in there. All right, y'all stay warm. All right, we're off to feed the pigs. You gonna feed them? Yeah, I'm gonna get in there with you. You are. Nathan doesn't like me feeding the piggies by myself. Um, it's because they about knock me down every day. Yeah, Nathan's been knocked down. There's more of them than there are me. So I came down here earlier and I just didn't trust them, you know? <laughs> Suckers are hungry. I know. I don't want them to be hungry for a little Jill. <laughs> that was one thing we were told is don't ever go in the pig pen by yourself. So... I always just like to wait until I have backup. Plus, check out those muscles. <laughs> so my <mama> glutes. <laughs> They're not even flexing. Oh look, there yeah. they are. They're coming out of the woodworks. Huh. Are y'all coming out for food? Come on, come on. I know. All right. How many do you need? Four scoops. Six. Whoa, okay. They're getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Doing a funny job. Thank you. Whoops. We hear you. So, you did do the math on these piggies, though, right? Of course. Okay, so. How much is each pig gonna cost us? Well, they still got a ways to go, so. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. I was supposed to be helping. Stay back until I get everything. Okay. You gotta move. Doing a fine job, babe. Don't you just love the smacking noise? I've learned to love it. It does sting. All right, we're gonna grab Lily and take her in. She's our little short-haired blue healer. She was not cut out for this type of weather. But Dahlia's been in the chicken coop. She's fine. Simba's been up in his barn. He's fine. But we'll bring her in. Nathan started a fire. So I think we should finish this vlog <laughs> inside where we're not getting pelted in the face. <laughs> By a nice cozy fire. Come on, Lily. Oh no, Dahlia's sad. We'll come back and check on y'all. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. You do your magic for a second. You made a good fire, babe. Well, I had it roaring. Oh. Ho, ho. Look at that.
Mommy likes them roaring. Yeah, I do. All right, while well, I'm warming up my hiney, <laughs> Nathan worked on another freeze drying um, little endeavor the other night. He got a bunch of eggs, which our chickens are laying right now, but he got a couple, like what, four or five dozen from a neighbor. Yeah. And we freeze dried our first batch of eggs. Thank you, Mr. Rocky came through with a, I actually wow. sent him home with the trays and he did all that for me. So what what did that look like, babe? So you essentially scrambled the eggs. I think he cracked a bunch of eggs, beat them up. Yeah. And then poured them into the trays. I gave him the trays, he came back with frozen and then he put them in the freezer overnight. Oh wow, the uh, consistency of this is wild. It's weird, isn't it? Very weird. So it's now like we've styrofoam got. Styrofoam. I know. Now we've got to put it in the food processor and. Oh really? Put it in a mason jar and. Okay, well yeah. I can work on that. How many trays do you have? Four. Mhm. Mm All right. So I'm about to work on that. I'm gonna get some potato soup in the crock pot, and we're probably gonna stay in <laughs> for the rest of the day where it's nice and warm. We'll go out later, check on the seedlings in the tunnel, check on the dogs, uh, see how everyone is holding up, but. Thanks for hanging out with us as we are embracing on our winter storm part two. This one seems a lot more winter stormy than the first one did. Uh, I think the first one was kind of just a teaser of what was to come. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll talk to you soon.